Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support, and today we're going to go over how to set up and program the NAC extender on your GEMC slash Firewolf control panel. We're going to start by going to NAC output assignments. Now you can have up to five supervised NAC extenders on the system. So you're going to set your available relay board address. In this case, it's going to be number one to fire NAC extender. Now you can select your four horn strobe circuits, NAC circuits to be silenceable, resettable, supplemental, reverse polarity if you need 24 volts, or reverse polarity with fire reset. And also smart type if you're using the integral synchronization for wheel lock and system sensor. So in this case, we're going to use the first three NACs as silenceable and smart, and we're going to make NAC D reverse polarity and fire reset for four wire devices. Totally customizable, and whatever you need for your particular installation. Click apply and OK. The NAC extender also has an integral EZM address for supervision, so you're going to take your four available zone types in a banking set it to fire <clears throat> NAC extender. This is going to automatically populate the zones, AC fail, low battery, tamper, and ground fault. Next we can go into NAC output events and set our NACs to trip on whatever conditions we need them to. In this case, it would be area one general alarm, so it would go off on any fire alarm. But it can also be used to set off for carbon monoxide, supervisory, and any other conditions. Now, each NAC extender is going to require an EZM address and a NAC relay board address to be set with jumpers on the main board. Also, it's going to require a four wire between the NAC extender and the GEMC Firewolf control panel on the fire bus. Also, an additional two wires would be required for synchronization between the NAC extender and the fire alarm control panel. And you can keep repeating the step for whatever amount of NAC extenders you have on your system. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napgosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.